Hey guys, welcome to the Phil Studio. Uh, today we're not going to eat some chicken wrap. I know it would be good, but I'm just gonna explain how my modules are working and are communicating together to produce sounds. Enjoy. Okay, so here we have a strange looking bug. Actually, it's just a clock generator with a CD4106 and it's a pin to pin design. We have the power on and off switch. Here we have the connector to the supply, 9 volt supply. Uh, here we have the tempo boost, which will just increase the rate of the pulse generator. Here you have the control of the frequency. And here is a duty cycle potentiometer, which will have the control over the length of the pulses. Finally, we have the output of the clock generator, which is just a 1 8 inch connector. Okay, guys, so here we have the CD4017 sequencer. It's a 10 step sequencer. We have here the input of the clock, which uh, which will generate the tempo and run the sequence. Here we have a power on switch with a blue LED. Here is the voltage divider output of each note. So let me open this for you so you can see the design. Actually, the design is pretty clean. Here we have the chip, the IC, with all its connection. We have the battery, which supplies the power. So, each step is connected to a switch. Each switch has three positions. The center position of the switch will just mute the note. The up position will play the note and actually if you put it to the down positions the sequence will be reset at this step that's about it for the sequencer okay here we have one of the most complex module of my sequencer which is the VCO this section is the VCO and actually the other section is a kind of wave shape volume control. You have the power on here at the back and the power supply it's a 9 volt supply. On the side you have the VCO input and here you have the output which uh, will go to your amplificator or your mixer. Let me open it for you so you can see the design. So let's open the box for you guys. Okay, what we have here is the CD4046. VCO so the input is going into the VCO and then you have a rotary switch to control multiple pitch for the VCO then the VCO output is going into this module here which is a CD4093 and again you have a various range of frequency control with a potentiometer so you're going to modulate the VCO output with another frequency generated by the 4093 then the output of the 4093 is sent into this LDR this photoresistor 
which is then sent into the main output. Well, the photoresistor is controlled by a LED. This LED is drive by the AD38 function generator. So here you have the control over a sin, a triangle wave or a square wave or no wave at all. Then you can control the rate, the speed rate of the wave generator. And here you control the symmetry of the wave. So this makes a pretty complex noise generator which is driven by a sequencer. That's about it guys, so good luck with your synth design.